25 minutes she's been in that bathroom. There's not an ablution on earth that takes that long. When are you going to remind her that she's said she'll... Well, it's not as easy as that, is it? Yes, it is. It's very easy. Just tell her that me and Cerberus need more space. I mean, look at that dog. It's just depressed. Look at it. Oh, yeah, it's got a long face, hasn't it? Look at it. It's got a long face. This is a grey one with long. Yeah, don't try to be a witty, Tara, and you'll only pull a muscle. Girls, come on, let's get dressed. Chop, chop, come on. I mean, she did say that she was going to leave after Christmas, right? Well, it's after Christmas. In fact, it's 12th night, the decorations are down, the unwanted guests have gone, there shall be no more cakes and ale. All right, all right, but it's not as easy as that, is it? Why do you keep saying it is not as easy as that? Because it is easy. Watch me. No, no. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, morning, Jay. Mm, I like what you've done with your hair. That's certainly worth the time it took. Now, it's after Christmas. When are you leaving? There's no rush, though. Uh, no, it's fine. Funnily enough, I was going to show you these. Uh, I looked into some uh, estate agents yesterday. Let's see what's out there. Um, maybe you can give me a hand looking through, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, of course I can, yeah. Uh, do you want me to take the girls? Well, uh, no, it's the first day back. I I'd like to. Oh, great, I'll do some uh, flat hunting then. See? Easy. Come on, girls! Ready? He's barely talking to me. Have either of you heard anything about the court case? If this doesn't work... Hey, I know, I know. So what are we doing today, then? Got any murderers you're defending? Um, I thought your mum said that the work placement was off. Yeah, well, not really her decision, is it? I mean, just cos she... ..doesn't mean it should affect my future career now, does it? Um, it's just I told your mum... Yeah, but, like I said, not really up to her, is it? OK, um... Well, I've got quite a lot of filing that needs doing, so I suppose you could help me with that. Hmm... No. No? No. From now on, I want a full paid internship and not just the donkey work, neither. Sorry, did you say paid? Yep. I mean, it's the least you could do after you basically ripped my family apart. <laughs> OK, nice try. It's not happening. No. No. Then... You can carry on with your work experience and I promise it won't just be making the tea, although there will be some of that. But it will definitely be unpaid. Oh, come Take on. Take it or leave it. Expenses. No. Fine. Have you spoken to the consultant? Not today, no. But then there's not much more they can say, is there? I'm going to take the tube out. If she doesn't breathe, just put it back in again. And then what? We'll think about that if it comes to it. Well, and then they'll try again until I consent to them turning the machines off. And if I refuse, they get a court order. They do it anyway. Did they say that? No, but there's this thing, you know, it's called the internet. It sort of tells you things. It won't come to that. Well, no, I mean, they might take the tube out and then she might die. Oh, David. What? What? Go on, finish your sentence. David, what? Nick, if you've got something to say that's going to make me feel better, say it. I'm sorry. I mean, look at her. She's alive. I know she's in a coma, but... Alive. Are they still under the weather? Oh, don't. It's like that bit in Ghostbusters where they explode the marshmallow man. There's just slime everywhere. Oh, well, uh, I'll be careful where I sit. Shall we start? Start what? Feeding. Is it that time already? Oh, no wonder he's crying. Oh, who's that now? Oh, I don't 
know. We can't be Rita, because she's here. Hey, I don't know. Hey, you're all right. <laughs> fine, just ignore me. I'm fine. I'm not fine. It's a lack of sleep. I'm all over the shop. It's a lack of sleep. It, now, don't you worry. I'll get it. <sighs> Jeez. Hey, come on, you're going to be all right. It's only a cold. Yeah, God knows what it's going to be like when one of them gets proper ill. Hiya, only me. Hiya. Oh, it's Tara. It's Tara. Sorry, is this a bad time? Well, unless you want to call things off for about four years, I doubt you'll find a good time. <laughs> right, well, I'll, I'll be quick. So, the first campaign seems to have gone down pretty well. Pretty well? Yeah. Head office were pleased. They were just wondering whether we could go for a slightly different vibe for the next one. Right. It's nothing to worry about. We just feel we're not quite there with the brand yet. So, can I show you some of our ideas? Hey, pick up a baby and a bottle and you can show us whatever you like. <laughs> there you go. So, oh, right. Oh, OK. There you are. So Bertie Bundle is off to the park. Oh, you know he might not feel like it after his jabs. Amy got a bit of a temperature after hers. Really? Well, he was all right last time, I think. Sinead did it. Oh, flipping heck. I forgot his red book. Oh, well, we'll, we'll keep him. You nip back. Black coffee? Yeah, ta. I'll be right back. Another parenting fail. Oh, get used to it. I have. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hey, beautiful house things. Yeah, do you know, getting there. Oh, good. Come on, I've been dying for a catch-up. <gasps> Did you know that Gary Windass was a long shot? No, no, not a clue. Flipping a... I mean, yeah, he was a bit shifty at work sometimes, but he's he always like that. Anyway, aren't you meant to be at work? What was your first day back? Flipping heck. Yes, yes, indeed. Let's go. Mm. Give everyone my love. I shall make sure we crack open a fresh packet of custard creams in your honour. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye, Sean. Sure. Are you all right? <laughs> so, what can I do for you? It, it's not me. It, it's little Hope. Hope Steve. I think she's been abused. told you before. I mean, I was worried after the bruises and the cut, but when she got the fracture... When did you first see the bruises? Oh, a couple of months ago. I should have brought her straight away before they faded, but... It's OK. Take your time. I just feel so guilty that I left it this long. I felt something wasn't right straight away. That's why I took the photos. You have photos? Maybe I've been stupid. May I see? I mean, kids fall over all the time. They're rough. But I've been with Hope. She's never had them when she's with me. Please. to do if they knew I was here. God. You've done the right thing. We have guidelines in place for 
issues like these and I can take this forward now. What'll happen? Listen to me, Jade. You did the right thing. Whatever happens next, the welfare of hope has to come first. So here you can see the sort of location we were thinking about. Posh. Basically the opposite of here. I won't go that far. The York Hill House just tested better. It was a bit more, um... Posh. Aspirational. Because no one would aspire to this, you mean? It'll probably be more convenient for you anyway. I mean, why have a camera crew cluttering up this place when you can just be driven to the location? Hmm. She's got a point. And it do us good to get out of the house. Get out of the house? You do know it took me over an hour to get out the door this morning. And that was just with two of them to devs. All I'm saying... No, all is... I'm saying is you can shoot it here, like we agreed, and you can shove your aspirations where the sun don't shine. Go on, then. Let's hear it. I just thought you needed some space, you know, <laughs> out there. I knew it. You're not got anything to say, have you? Why are you keeping people away? I'm not. People want to visit. You know, Billy said... Oh, that. right, so you've been slagging me off to Billy now. No, 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 I haven't. Billy said he wanted to visit and you told him not to. I told him there's no point. There's no point. No point for who? Well, for them, because you're here every minute, every hour. Yeah, because someone has to make sure they don't give up on her. No one's giving up on her. Right. Okay. We care. You're keeping our friends away for how long? Why? Because you're worried one day they might have to say goodbye. No. Because you might have to say goodbye. No. All right, no one's saying goodbye. No one. <laughs> Violet. Where would we be without it? <laughs> Certainly, romantic trains would suffer. You know, roses are red, dolphinums are blue. Doesn't quite scan, does it? Mmm. <laughs> yes, there's something about the violet, isn't there? Uh, the symbol of love and modesty used by countless poets. Shakespeare, Rossetti, Sappho. Mmm. Yes, sir. Uh, I believe Edouard Bourdais' La Prisonnière used a violet nosegay as a symbol of love that at that time dare not speak its name. Mary, is that a play about lesbians? Well, it, it, it might have been one of its many themes. You've Googled gay flowers. Well, I meant it in the old fashioned sense. Right, well, for the last time, the subject is closed. I am not going to be discussing my, my, um... Hi! Hi! Can I have a word? Yeah. Hop it. All oh, the things she said, all oh, the things and she said. And stop singing, Tattoo. You have a tattoo. Never mind, what do you want? Paula isn't playing ball about paying me for working at her solicitors. Wait, what? Why would she pay you? Well, now I've moved out, I need to start earning, don't I? And she's minted. And frankly, it's the least she could do. What? Mary, are you listening? No, I'm not. I... Damn. Go on. So, if she's not paying up, you'll have to. What? You heard. And to prove I'm not being greedy, I'll even do it for minimum wage. I worked it out and for under 18s, it's £174 a week. No, there is literally no way you were going to blackmail me. Then I'm literally telling Dad that you cheated on him.
Good luck finding anything in there. Yeah, that'll pop on for my lunch, save a bit of money. Well, I'll certainly lose weight. <laughs> What's that? Oh, grey matter. That's probably one of Jade's dips. Oh, well, I'll give it a whirl. Oh, better man than I am. How did it go? Yeah, really good. Hope seems happier with me. I don't know. She, I even made a laugh. Oh, that's great news. <laughs> well, with little Miss uh, Hummus on the skedaddle, I think things are looking up. Hey, just step away from that pile of mucky mush and get your little legs down the chippy. Go on. Really? And you're paying? Don't make me retract what I've just said. Oh, well, I won't look like a, a greyhound in the mouth <laughs> or in the long face. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, get out of here. Oh, yeah, take him with you. Knees away. Hello. Hello. Hello, little Bertie. Now, you know, I love my job, but sometimes I really, really hate it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, I get these beautiful bunny babies coming into my office and I have to make them cry. Oh, right, yeah. So we're going to make this as quick and painless as possible, and you can help me by holding on to him really tightly, OK? OK. Now, today, I'm going to be doing a combined hip meningitis C, PCV, MMR, and meningitis B. Four. I'm afraid so, but it really is best to get them all done at once. <laughs> before he even realises what's happening. All right. Now, there's a chance that afterwards his temperature can go up. So have you got any um, junior paracetamol at home? Oh, uh, no, but I can get some. Well, that sounds like a plan. OK, let's get this over with. So if you can just hold him to the side yep. and cuddle him really close. Yep. And make sure his arm, that's it. Yep. Pull that down. And his leg are secure. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Now, there's a chance he could pull away or cry, but it really is best to just get it over and done with quickly. OK. Hold tight. OK. Oh, love the shoes. Thanks. Who's that? Is that a consultant? No, it was just a doctor. You sure it wasn't a consultant? No, he was young. I think he was a trainee. Well, what did he say? Nothing. Well, what's happened then? Has there been a change? No. Come on, look, okay. calm down, eh? No, th th this is why I need to be here all the time, because if I miss Nothing's something... Nothing's happened. I was making conversation. I said I liked his shoes. Right, y you do me a favour. Can you just go home, OK? The pair no, of no, you. No, 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 they're going to be prepping for the procedures. No, they're not. What? Right, excuse me. Yeah, you with the shoes. Can you let everybody know that there'll be no extubating today? Look, ignore him. No, don't ignore me, all right? If you want to get to where, you've got to go through me. Like this. I know, it, but it's normal. It's upsetting, but really, you just let me finish. Oh, just give me a sec. He's going to cry whatever we do. I know, I know, okay. okay. Yeah. Right, maybe we should do the other three another day. I strongly advise you to let no, me finish. Honestly, I think that's probably the best idea. Daniel! Please! Please. What do we do? What do we do? I don't know, OK? I can't just barge in there and drag him out, can I? He's freaking out. He needs some space. I'm not saying goodbye to you. No one is.
don't say anything, right? You just wanted to give you some space. Yeah. You tell them lot just to ignore me. And, um, you think you could ring Billy and the others? I think you're right. I think she's just bored of my voice. OK. Hold on, did you just say I was right? Max. Yeah, it's me. Um, no, no change yet. But, uh, listen, do you think you could get somebody to bring you in? Mm. Do you reckon that dippy gear would go well with chips? Oh, I'm going to say no. Surely everything goes with chips. That'll be Jade. I bet she's got a burglar alarm on the phone. Oh, well. Yeah, come through. Mm. Yeah. Um, are you the guardian of Hope's tape? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a mum. Why? Is she all right? We're from Children's Services. Uh, we'd like to talk to you about Hope. What about her? Several doctors have raised concerns about Hope's recent injuries. Injuries? She fell off a bench. Other injuries have come to our attention. What? We just need to make sure she's safe. Of course she's safe. Wait, is someone saying we're hurting her? At this stage, we're just looking into it. Of all the ridiculous Did things. Come from her. Has she said something? Because, you know, she sometimes does make-up stories. But we'll need to talk to her. Really? No. No. She's been through so much. Not this as well. Please. I'm sorry. So you don't know anything about bruises on her arm? This would have been the last week of November. No, I don't think so. I mean, she gets bruises. Yeah, she's a kid. Mm, yes, of course she does, and she fights with her sister over things all the time. And how did you say she broke her arm? She fell off a bench in Vicky Gardens. Uh, she didn't say that is what happened. Well, I'm afraid there's a bit of a discrepancy between your account and Hope's. Oh, yeah, OK, well, she might have said that she trapped it in a door because, like I said, we've had issues with her making up yeah. stories. Well, she's got an imagination, so what? We will sort this out, OK? Now, with your permission, we'd like to speak to Hope. Oh, well, she's at school. Well, we can go there. Is that OK? Of course, yeah. Yeah, as long as we're with you. Well, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Look, don't. No, look, we've got no. to... Um... Last thing we need is you kicking off at that school again. Ellen, could you give Bessie Street a call? Look, is, is that absolutely necessary? Well, I think you'll agree it's best we get this resolved as soon as possible. You've got our number if you need to talk to anyone, OK? Thank you. Okay. I don't understand. You heard him. Um, it'll be OK. They'll realise they've made a mistake and then they'll sort it. Yeah. I'd like to arrange a viewing for the two bed on Talbot Road. Today would be great. I'm looking to move as soon as possible. I don't get it right. According to this, we should be starting the next feed. But we've only just finished the feed. We can't carry on like this, Chez. Rita can only come round and help us once a day. My mum is hiding in a caravan somewhere and you've got to go back to work soon. I was too hasty with Tower. I wanna. We need the cash. Yeah. Will you call her? Yeah, I can do. Well, tomorrow's meant to be my first day back after paternity. Just gonna be well knocked when I start taking off mortars. <sighs> it's fine. Go up and get some sleep. I love you. <laughs> Why? Because I said you can go up and get some sleep. 
Yeah. Fair enough. I'll be up to join you any minute with a bit of luck. It's all right. Let's just settle that down. <laughs> oh, you are having a laugh. <laughs> oh. So, that's your mum, your dad, your sister, and your nan. Who's that? That's Jed, and that's Cerberus. Cerberus was this monster three-headed dog thing, but he's a greyhound. Right. Wow. A three-headed dog. Yeah, that sounds pretty scary. Looks like you've had a few accidents lately. How did that happen? Have you, um, have you contacted the prison? Clayton, no, I forgot. It's OK, um, Nick phoned. Yeah, we told them uh, we didn't want him here and he was OK with that. Probably the best. Do, do you um, want to go in on your own? No. No, we're just going together. No, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm sorry, but then, frankly, I don't care. This is my great-granddaughter, and I have every right to know which doctor treated her. No, no, you cannot put me on hold. No, will no. you stop shouting at the hospital? It ain't going to help. Oh, well, yes, it will, because when I find out which job's worth of a doctor has made up stories about our hope... I might be a... Uh... What? Yes. No, no, th this is not a good time. I'm going to put you on hold. See how you like it. Right. <clears throat> Where's Hope? I'm sorry, Mrs Stape, but Hope confirmed the allegations against you. So we will need to keep her and Ruby out of the house until the investigation's over. What? What allegations? <clears throat> well, she's saying that we're hurting her. No, she's saying that I'm hurting her. Isn't she? A doctor has confirmed the injuries are either non-accidental or unexplained. Unexplained? We told you. Hang on. Um, out the house? Do you mean that you're taking them away? Is, is there a family member or a close friend who can look after them in the interim? No! No, no, you can't do that! This is ridiculous. It's an overreaction. Look, I'm so sorry. You know, hopefully it'll only be for a short while. Well, what does that mean? We're going to sue you. You know that. You're going to lose your job. Please! Over this. Please don't do this. I really am sorry. I want to see Hope at Stapes Medical Records. I'm so sorry, I'm just seeing to this man here. What do you mean, uh, this man? That's Roy. Roy's Rolls. Everybody knows Roy. <laughs> I don't think Rolls is his surname. No. You know, it's just the name of the, the cafe. It's a little joke. Sorry. I know you, Moira. You're funny Moira from the medical reception, aren't you? And do you think it's appropriate to be funny when people are sick? Hmm? Well, do you? I, just, I don't think that people want jokes, do they? No, they just want to be made feel better and get on with their lives. Right, now, what I want... Yes. Roy was here first. Oh, Roy can wait! Can't you? Yes, yes, yes that's fine. What I want are Hope Stapes medical records and a list of all the doctors who have seen her in the past few Aye. months, both here and at the hospital. Now, I know that everything's linked up now on these computers, so, so I'm sure you can get it on that. Go on, do it. No, I can't. Yes, you can. I'm family. No. Yes! No. I mean, I can't. Only doctors have access to records. Oh, <gasps> give me that. Don't. Who's on? Dr. Susan Gaddas. Right, Dr. Gaddas! Dr. Gaddas! No, 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 please. She's got a patient in there. Uh, Dr. Gaddas! I really think oh. you need to calm down. What out, right? Gaddas! 
She will not be allowed to tell you because you're not immediate family. Oh, well, we'll see about that. Get off! Look, Evelyn, Get please, off! listen to her. They won't let you see them. Now, what is it? What is the matter? Take her away. Ruby, too. They've told a pack of lies and they've taken him away. Hey, sorry, totally forgot. I'm a bit worried about Bertie after his injections. Do you think he feels a bit hot? Um, yeah, yeah, maybe a bit. Yeah, I've just took his temperature. He's definitely hotter than usual and he's only just stopped crying. Did he have his injections? It was horrible. He put the first needle in, he screamed, I freaked out, grabbed the pair of us and ran. What, you left before they finished? Yeah, I couldn't cope. Stupid. No, no, it's okay. It's just what with Sinead suffering for so long, I just... I couldn't let him. Hey, it's okay. No. I remember my mum saying how traumatic it is. He screamed as well. Yeah, I hated it. Yeah, well, he's fine now. Listen, why don't you come to the park with us? A bit of fresh air might do you some good. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna try and get him down for a bit. Here I am, wrapped up in being stupid and no, completely forgotten No, you're not being ask, stupid. ...to ask about Shona. I think they're extubating in the next hour or so. See if she can breathe on her own. <sighs> There's me banging on about a few injections. You got enough on your plate? No, it's fine. No, it's not. I'm being an idiot. Stop saying that, you idiot. See, I can say it, but you can't. Right, come on, Harry. Should we go on the swings? Come on. Listen, he's fine, OK? Did they say how long it would take? No, they didn't say. Well, the girls will be very welcome here. Be a bit of a squeeze with Carla, but... The problem is not where they stay. The problem is two little girls being forced apart from the parents. Of course, of course. Yeah, sorry. sorry. I, I do tend when I'm angry to take it out on people. Can't say I've noticed. Was that a joke? It was, yes. Well, you've picked a funny time to develop a sense of humour. Well, I, I, I have found that um, a levity c can ameliorate the darkest situations. Yes. It's the way you tell them. Shona was very good at that, unexpected levity. She, she was. Don't tell me. She hasn't. Uh, ap apologies, yes. Unfortunate choice of tense. Oh. They are forming a critical procedure on her today. Uh, and though we weren't there to say goodbye, it did feel a bit like it. Mm. So, a young woman is dying in an hospital ward needlessly, and two little girls... Mm -hmm are ripped from them, well, from the parents, honestly. Sometimes this world just stinks, doesn't it? Sometimes. <sighs> oh, well, thank you. You're a big help. Well, one does what one can. Was that another joke? Sitting with Shona, it did make me question the purpose of such an act. I, I don't believe that she could hear me. And I don't suppose it would lessen the sorrow that I would feel losing such a friend, but... The only thing I could come down to was that perhaps my presence there was some comfort to others, David in particular, a reminder of, uh, of how loved she was, is. So, it was worthwhile. Well, one does what one can. even if that means shouting at innocent medical centre receptionists. Innocent? Hardly, that silly mare. God, I mean, if ever anybody needed bringing down a peg or two, it was her. Oh, what a mess. You can't do this. They just, they just can't. I'll ring me, Mum. But why would Hope say those things? I don't know. But we can't worry about that now, can we? We just need to... And work out where they can stay. Well, your mum's not going to be able to cope. Well, Chess has got his hands full. Well, and Jade hasn't even got a flight. Have you even told Jade? No, she's not answering. Well, then way. who? I don't know. But we need to work it out soon. They're not going into care time. No. No, 
They are 100% not. I promise, look, we have done nothing wrong, OK? Guys, whatever happens, OK, us three, and everyone else out there, we have to stick together, all right? We have to be strong for each other. Absolutely no noise. All right. Right, we will do it as long as we can have final sign off for what goes out. Well, I can ask, but well, not even Hollywood film directors get final cut. Yeah, well, they don't have to mobilise four babies by nine a.m., do they? No, I suppose not. I'll ask. So, is that a yes? Take that nappy bin out as you go and it's a deal. She's just joking. <laughs> <laughs> right, Rose, show me everything. The girls can stay with me. Yeah, OK. I understand. Mate, do you mean that? Yep. No problem at all. Me and Jack will uh, enjoy the company. What about what happened with Jack and the fire after what hope did? Listen, mate, that's in the past. Look, if anything, I owe you an apology. All of you, look. I shouldn't have said what I did. She's not a bad kid. She's just a kid. And we need to look after them. Thank you. And if they stay with me, they just two doors away. Well, Christine's just said we can't see them without prior arrangement while the investigation's going on. What? Then we'll be careful, but we'll play it down to the girls. Fill my house full of toys and DVDs and make out its uh, holiday. Yeah, we'll do what we can. We'll get through this. OK. OK, ventilator is off. Starting to remove the tube. Something. The alarms mean she's not coping on her own. OK, you may need to ventilate her again and a tracheostomy. Let's just give her a little longer. OK. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Right, just tired. A bit of a stressy day. Yeah, I know. Uh... Bethany told me. Everybody tells you everything, don't they? Oh, well, what can I say? I'm very well connected around here. Yeah. And now you're checking up on me. Yeah, I am. Well, he's still got a bit of a temperature, but I've just managed to get him down. Oh, that's good. Well, you know that's what happens, don't you, after a vaccination, right? The temperature does go up. Yeah, so I'm learning. You know, and it really doesn't help everybody telling me that this is completely normal. It's okay. 
Sorry. Don't panic. Yeah, sorry. Just stressy day. I don't like seeing him upset. Yeah. Well, believe me, it don't get any easier. It's just after Sinead. Yeah, I know, I understand. You're paranoid that he'll get sick as well. No, it's not just that. I've got to be dad and mum. Hmm. And what if I get it wrong? Oh, you will sometimes. I mean, God knows I have enough times. But kids are resilient, you know, they can take a few knocks. <sighs> Can't believe you're giving parenting advice. Mm. <laughs> I know. Leanne would die laughing if she could hear me. Hey, don't worry, he's gonna be fine. Just make sure you're booking another appointment to the doctors, okay? Unless you've gone totally do Lally and turned into one of them weird anti-vaxxers. No, I'm not there yet. See you later. See ya. Hello. You awake? Let's take your temperature again. There you go. <laughs> Can't believe it. So, she's out of the coma? Not yet. But she's breathing. Which means there is brainstem activity. Which is a good sign. Which is a good sign. Seems pretty miraculous. This long after the trauma? I've seen it happen. But I've been doing this for over 20 years. And I'm talking a handful of times. Flipping heck. I've got to urge caution about getting your hopes too high, though. It's still highly likely Shona won't fully recover. And even if she did, that's a long road back. Yeah, but we've got a chance now, though, haven't we? Have you got Ruby's cuddly unicorn? Yeah. And you're... Take him straight to yours, yeah? Yep. I've got pizza and a DVD on standby. Why don't we just say that we're giving the rooms a clean out or. I don't know, we just. Just let us say something. Try not to make them scared. No, of course, and they'll make it fun. You know, like I said, a, a holiday. And it won't be for long. You'll see. That is that everything. Cheers. Thanks, Ken. Oh, God. It's okay. Hey, hey. What was it? What is it? What's happened? <laughs> they're, uh, they're taking them away. Taking who away? Well, the girls. Some stupid doctor reckons we've been hurting up. Oh, my God. They can't do that. Well, you try telling them that. That's. It's horrible. I can't believe it. <gasps> Based on a real-life crime that shocked the nation, drama White House Farm, starring Mark Addy, Freddie Fox and Stephen Graham, starts Wednesday at 9. Next, we're going to the chapel, but there's a killer on the loose. Guest starring Kelly Brook, Barnaby investigates a brand-new case in Midsummer Murders. <laughs> <laughs>